Oma Jnana Timadandasya Jnananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Nena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha So in just about 60 seconds, my prediction, the devotees in the broadcast booth will put up on the screen for you a, a song written by Bhaktivinoda Thakur, who is our most revered Acharya, who revealed to the world Lord Chaitanya's teachings, of whose mercy we're living from every day. His, uh, the brilliance of his songs and his writings are unprecedented in the world. And we are very fortunate to be in his family. So one of the songs that he wrote, Sri Navadi Bhava Taranga, and there is the Thakur sitting uh, in his Paramahamsa days. We'll see if when we scroll down, which I predict will happen in within about six seconds, two seconds. <laughs> we can see the, the text of this beautiful uh, poem, which Bhaktivinoda Thakur wrote about Lord Nishingadev. And I'll read to you out loud as you follow, if you like, on the screen with your eyes, the English text, and then we'll come back and sing the song itself. Bhaktivinoda writes, Within my sinful heart, the six enemies headed by lust perpetually reside, as well as duplicity, the desire for fame, plus sheer cunning. At the lotus feet of Lord Nishinga, I hope that he will mercifully purify my heart and give me the desire to serve Krishna. Before you move on, I'll just make a comment. And that the heart is the residence of the soul. It's also the driver of the body. Ramana Naroy in the Chaitanya Charitamrita says that the body is a chariot and the heart is the driver. And in fact, the very definition of faith, the word shraddha means where you place your heart. Everyone has some inclination, some way they're moving in this life, and it's emanating from one's shraddha. That is, what one puts one's heart into. Externally, I may say one thing or another, but I vote with my feet, and my feet move because of the state of my heart. And the state of one's heart is affected by one's association those who have the association of pure devotees, then gradually develop a pure state of heart. And they also de develop a kind of wisdom, which this, this, this in, is described in the verse that defines faith, or shraddha. The verse says, Shraddha shabde vishwas kahe sudrida nishjoy krishne bhakti koila sarva karma krita hoy. That is, I have a conviction that if I just do bhakti, that is, there's Navalakshana Bhakti, these nine processes of devotional service, which we described earlier, and these are, these are what Prahlad Maharaj told his father when his father asked him, so what's going on in school these days, son? What's the best thing you learned? And he said, Sravanam Kirtanam Vishnu, Smaranam Padasevanam, Vandanam Archam Vandanam Dasyam Sakyam Atmani Vedanam. And he named these nine processes of devotional service, each one of them sublime, which angered his father. Didn't like to hear that at all. But the fact is that one who has this conviction that these are the mainstay of real life, of happy life, of progress, that when I'm performing these nine processes of devotional service, I'm making progress, and I'm doing the right thing. This kind of conviction means that you have shraddha, you have faith, strong faith. You may not be able to do it yet. You may not be able to move in that direction as much as you want, but that faith is beginning to grow in your heart. This is shraddha. And Bhaktivinoda Thakur very instructively shows us how we should examine our hearts and see what's in there. Here, he's doing 
this self-examination. And of course, it's for our benefit because his heart isn't like this at all. And this is a paradox that one has to live with. And that is that as a devotee advances, he or she considers him or herself less advanced than everyone else. Feels that I'm actually going nowhere. I'm not making advancement. I'm worse because advancement in devotional service is accompanied by equal amounts of dainya or utter humility. This is described by Narada Muni in the Brihat Bhagavatamrita, that practically this utter humility and pure devotional service are the same. They go on equal tracks. So he says, within my sinful heart, the six enemies headed by lust perpetually reside. And Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita that the lust is the all-devouring sinful enemy in this world. And these other detailed qualities, for instance, duplicity, desire for fame, pure plus sheer cunning, he observes. At the lotus feet of Lord Nishringa, I hope he will mercifully purify my heart and give me the desire to serve Lord Krishna. When you go to Govardhan Hill in Vrindavan, you'll find as you walk down through Dhanigat and you pass Aniyor, the place where Krishna manifested himself as Govardhan Hill and he asked for more and more food and the residents of Vrindavan were going everywhere to bring him more food, and no matter how much they gave him, he kept saying, Aniyor, Aniyor, give me more, give me more. This is Krishna. He keeps asking for more and more sacrifice. <laughs> and then if you keep going a little further, you get to the very tip of Govardhan, and there you'll see a jewel of a temple like you've never seen before, right at the very tip of the tail of Govardhan, who's shaped like a peacock. And there is a High on a hill is a Nishringadev temple, Prahlad Nishringa temple. Sometimes people think, what's this doing here? <laughs> this is not Vaikuntha. But actually, Lord Nishringadev is the face of Krishna. And we're finding out in this beautiful poem what kind of face of Krishna he is. He's the protector of the devotees. Bhakti Vignavinashana, Sri Nishringadev. He destroys the obstacles. What is the obstacle? There is only one obstacle. I'm getting in my own way. It's what I allow to stay in my heart. These qualities of lust or duplicity or fame, sheer cunning, the very sound of them should send chills up the spine of the aspiring devotee that, please don't let me come in contact with these. Please let me purge these from my system. Well, you came to the right place at the right time because as Bhaktivinoda Thakur is saying, Nishringadev is the one for you. He's the one who can, with his very strong nails, like thunderbolts, demolish these demoniac qualities in the heart. This is why we pray to Lord Nishringadev. We don't pray to Nishringadev or anyone else, hopefully, to say, please, I want a Mercedes Benz. <laughs> My friends all drive Porsches. I must make amends. quoting Janice Joplin. Uh, but we pray, please remove these obstacles which are there in my heart, in my own heart. Minus these obstacles, there is no difficulty in life. The Srimad Bhagavatam, it is said by Lord Shiva that the devotees have no obstacles, and they don't mind anything. They don't mind any external interference because their hearts are clean. They have no attachment one way or the other. The only thing they're attached to is something transcendental, and that's the service of the Lord. And therefore, they don't mind where they go, whether it's heaven or hell, because there's lots of service in either place, sometimes even more in hell. So this prayer begins by asking Lord Nishingadev, please help me clean my heart. 
mercifully purify my heart of these desires. And this will work. It actually works. If one prays to the Supreme Personality of Godhead and says, please clean my heart, one may not have the power to do it oneself. This may be admitted. That I'm not strong enough to give up my anartas because, well, that's why they're anartas. <laughs> because I can't give them up on my own. But if for one fleeting second, one can muster the sincerity to say, okay, my Lord, you please have a shot at it. I give you permission. You please do whatever is necessary to clean the heart. Put me in whatever situation you like. Of course, that's going out really out on a limb now. I probably overstepped my... <laughs> but if for one second I can have this feeling of sincerity that I can't do it myself, but you please help me. And this is what this prayer means. Saying, I'm helpless, but you're all powerful, and you have appeared just for this purpose, to protect your devotee in this way. And with a clean heart, then one can be eternally happy in any situation of life. Now, this sounds like a big risk, but one has to analyze where is firm ground, where can you actually stand where you're safe in this world? Where is that shta, that place where the ground doesn't move? In the process of devotional service, one comes to this situation called nishta. It means a place you can stand without being knocked over by these desires without being pushed to go somewhere you don't want to go, with not having to answer to the bad masters that have been living within the heart since a time immemorial. And here's when we break out into song. Kamadinam katina katida Palina durni deshas Tesham jata mahina karuna natrapa no pashanti Utsri jaita nata yadupate samprata labda buddhis Tamayata sharanamabhayam mam niyankshva madasye. The devotee prays, For how long and how many ways have I served the bad masters? Lust, sheer cunning, desire for fame, anger. They never gave me mercy. They never gave me time off. And I never even questioned their residence in my heart. I just let them stay there rent free. In fact, I'm feeding them. Get out! No more. Now I'm trading you in. I want a new kind of service. I don't like you guys anymore. Everybody out. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> this is the prayer of the devotee. And if one prays to Krishna with this kind of sincerity that please help me, please remove these obstacles that are there within my own heart, Krishna will help. This is the meaning of Nishringa Chaturdasi, why he's coming to help his devotee. And now we'll look at the second slide. Weeping, and starting with the first word, this is important. If you're not crying for it, if you're not crying out, if your heart isn't crying for, for, for this treasure of devotional service to be free from these desires within the heart, why will Krishna listen? That's why... Srila Prabhupada says that this process of chanting is perfected when one cries like a, like a genuine cry, a baby for its mother. If you have to have it, it's, if it's your burden that I have to make advancement, then you will make advancement in devotional service one way or the other. And it doesn't matter. It's not a stereotype process. It based on desire. Yena tena prakarena. Manat Krishna Devesha yet. There's only two rules in devotional service. One is to always remember Krishna, and the other is to never forget him. Everything else, every other rule and regulation and consideration is subservient to that. And one must have a burden to unload from one's head and shoulders and heart. That burden that I've been carrying on my shoulder and then I transfer it to my head and then I hold it on my hip and I think now it's better. It's not better. The only time it's better is when I am completely relieved of the burden and I should weep to remove that burden. Therefore he starts up weeping. I will beg at the lotus feet of Lord Nishringha 
for the benediction of worshiping Radha and Krishna in Navadweep, perfectly safe and free from all difficulties. When will this Lord Hari, whose terrible form strikes fear into fear itself, ever become pleased and show me his mercy? So now we see this combination. We hear Nishringa, Radha Krishna, Navadweep. Sometimes people come look at our altar and they say, okay, there's Lord Chaitanya, Radha Krishna, and Lord Nish there's Lord Gauranga Mahaprabhu, Radha Krishna, and Lord Nishringadev. Here we have the epitome, the picture of this verse. We have Navadweep. This is Dhameshwara Mahaprabhu giving benedictions. Then we have Radha Krishna and we have Nishringadev. This is a perfect arrangement. If you worship here, these deities as mentioned in this context by Bhaktivinoda Thakur, all perfection will be there in your life. And it's profound because everything is there in the Dham of Navadweep. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Radha Krishna, combined. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Radha Krishna Nayanya. Radha Krishna Pranaya Vikriti Hladini Shakti Rasmar Ekat Manav Api Bhuvi Buddha Deha Behram Gatau Tau Chaitanya Kyam Prakatamaruna Tadwayam Chaikyam Aptam Radha Bhava Duti Savalitam Namu Krishna Swarupam. The two Radha Krishna have become one in Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And when you go to Navadweep, you'll find that Lord Nishingadev is part of the pastimes of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You go to Nishingapali, and Lord Nishingadev resides there eternally. He stopped there after slaying Hiranyakashipu. Everyone, all the great incarnations of the Lord, they want to come and see Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and take advantage of his mercy. And the reason that Bhaktivinoda Thakur discovered this birthplace of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was from his vantage point there on the other side of the Jalangi River. He could see every morning around Mangalartik time a cloud of dust coming from Nishringapali. And then he realized what that was, Lord Nishringadev coming down the road to attend the Mangalartik at the Yoga Peat. Okay, that's a jai, come on. <laughs> Lord Nishringadev coming down the road from Mangalartik, that's nice. That's really nice. So we have that. We've been given that. We have Navadweep. We have Radha Krishna. We have Lord Nishingadev to protect us. All we need to do is take full shelter of that great Lord who strikes fear into fear itself. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, Apana Samsritim Goran Yanama Vivishogranan Tata Sadyo Vimucheta Yad Bipeti Swayam Bayam. Sutta Goswami at the outset of the Srimad Bhagavatam says that this holy name of the Lord is so powerful that it strikes fear into fear personified and that one should take advantage of this. Let's try one time Hare Krishna as loud as you can. That's pretty loud. That's good. Next slide. He continues, even though Lord Nishinga is terrifying toward the sinful souls, he offers great auspiciousness unto the devotees of Lord Krishna, headed by Prahlad Maharaj. When will he be pleased to speak words of compassion unto me, a worthless fool, and thereby make me fearless? And in Prahlad Maharaj's prayers to Lord Nishingadev, he says a very interesting thing about fear. He says, my Lord, I'm not afraid of you. Your form is scaring everybody in the universe. Digibat. It means all the elephants are running away. The roaring of Lord Nishingadev. The lion's roar is very fearsome. And when Lord Nishingadev roars, every elephant in the universe runs for its life. You can imagine the roaring sound. It's very scary, the appearance of Lord Nishingadev for many people. But for the devotees, it's... Wonderful. And Prahlad Maharaj says, I'm not afraid of you with your garland of intestines. I'm not afraid of your high conch-like ears. I'm not afraid of your roaring that's scaring away all the elephants in the universe. He said, I tell you what I am afraid of. I'm afraid of your maya. 
I'm afraid that Vishnu Maya is at any time can take me away from you and may pull me back down into the lower species of life, into the cycle of birth and death, and then I'll never remember you again. And in the womb, the child is also praying like this. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the mood of Lord Kapiladev revealed to his mother Sachi that the child within the womb becomes conscious at a certain age of its development and then it realizes its predicament that I am here in this womb migrating through one species of life to another. He hasn't come out and got his little sticker yet that they give you when you're first born. You pop out of the womb and they say, oh, looky, looky, your new name is Schnicky. And they give you... <laughs> A little badge to say, go, you got to wear this now. Your name's Schnicky and you're an American. <laughs> oh, yeah, American, my name's Schnicky. But before that, it, within the womb, the jiva is just the jiva. He realizes that I'm an eternal living entity. He becomes conscious of his actual identity. And then he realizes, I've really done something wrong. I took a wrong turn. I'm trapped in this cycle of birth and death. And I don't think I can get out of it at all. This is scary to think that I'm trapped, to actually realize my predicament. The intoxication of material life is so great that everyone thinks, I'm good. I'm good. I have an SUV. I'm good. My SUV has, what do you call that? Huh? Oh, yeah, four wheel drive, uh, <laughs> any like brakes, and uh, navigation system. I'm good. We're not good. Whatever we have in this material world is, a very, is temporary and can crumble at any minute. So the, the devotee's mood is fearful of Maya, but not of Krishna. And Prahlad Maharaj prays like this, please let me always be situated at your lotus feet and therefore become fearless. We'll see the next slide. Then this is, Lord Nishingadev will speak back to the prayerful devotee. He will say, dear child, sit down freely and live happily here in Shri Garunga Dham. May you nicely worship the divine couple and may you develop loving attachment for their holy names. By the mercy of my devotees, all obstacles are cast far away. With a purified heart, just perform the worship of Radha and Krishna for such worship overflows with sweet nectar. Next. Saying this, will that Lord delightfully place his own divine lotus feet upon my head? I will experience sublime love for the divine couple Radha Krishna and undergo the ecstatic transformation called sattvika. Falling on the ground, I will roll about at the door of Sri Nishinga's temple. Now, what's being described here is the result of purification. Nitya Siddha Krishna Prema Sadya Kabu Noi Shravanadi Shruta Chite Kara Udhoi. Within the heart of every living entity, we are sentient beings, means we're very sensitive, very sensitive. The most sensitive, we're consciousness, conscious beings. How sensitive is that? It's, it's, fully, con it's fully sensitive. And our sentiments are meant for Krishna. The kinds of sentiments that we express in this world are indicative of our eternal nature. And that is something that we can see in our life, in our lives. How we express our sentiments in various ways towards various people in various situations. Heart-rending it is. But these, say the Shastra, are misplaced. We're misplacing our sentiments for those relationships which are fleeting, which I actually have no real eternal connection to, and for those objects which are not actually mine, but I attach myself to them through my consciousness of ego, thinking this is mine and that's for others. But when one actually transfers that sentiment to Krishna, there is a kind of free flow of this sentiment, which Queen Kunti describes in her prayers, Twayeme Ananya Vishaya, Matir Madhu Patesakrit, Ratim Udvahatat Ada, Gangi Vaugam Udanvati. When the Ganges overflows, 
it carries everything with it. So similarly, when this natural emotion is directed towards Krishna, it's purified and directed towards Krishna, it carries us away. And it's easy to understand this spontaneous love by seeing how, this, how we react to this world. Krishna is called Shaddai Purna. He's full of all opulences. What does that mean? It's something we can actually connect to in, as, in our personal experience. If somebody comes in this room right now who's very uh, rich, who's very rich? Huh? Okay, Bill Gates. He's like the rich guy these days. If he comes in this room and sits down, Kurnat's going to you know, make sure he has a place, right, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> and then probably everyone's going to start going, hey, is that Bill Gates? And they're going to turn around. I mean, what's his real thing? He's a guy, you know. He's kind of a little bit of a square, but I mean, no. <laughs> what did I say? No, he, he's wonderful. Actually, he's a... <laughs> philanthropist, and he's a, he's a wonderful person. I just meant the way he dresses, kind of like in the sense that he, you know, he dresses sort of like ordinary. He's not flashy. That's what I meant by square. Honest. Um, <laughs> but he's attractive because he's wealthy, and if somebody else who's beautiful comes in, then it, you don't have to think about it. You just, he's like, hey, wait a minute. You know, stop looking at him. And Somebody who's very learned, somebody who's very strong, very influential, these, and somebody who's very renounced. These are attractive qualities given to us by Parashara Muni, who defined these six items as the attractive qualities, the opulences. Well, Krishna is Shaddaishvarya Purna, he has all of them all at once, in full. Imagine that. And it's not out of our range of experience to see how our mind goes to that personality who has those. What will the attraction be to the Supreme Personality of God who has all of them in full? How will the mind be pulled in that direction? It's not a, a, an intellectual exercise. It's just absolutely natural. But it requires a little bit of purification. And when that purification takes place, we hear from Bhakti Vinod Thakur's other song that we sing regularly from Radha Krishna Bol. Krishna Bol be jabe pulak habe jorbe anki boli thai. And that is that when the purification takes place, automatically these symptoms of happiness and love will expand in the body. They'll just come out naturally. And the last is Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Just before we sing the song, we'll just take a couple of reflections of things that you start from the song or impressions that you had, and then we'll sing this beautiful song by Bhakti Mano Thakur. There is a microphone here. There is several more. We have several dozen microphones throughout the audience, so feel free to grab it. We welcome our internet audience. Everyone, please say Hare Krishna. Welcome them. Hare Krishna. Okay. Now, a few reflections. The point you mentioned about uh, sensitive is so wonderful point, Prabhu, because even though we may see others, if we are not sensitive, um, we are not seeing this Atma in the body. We are just treating them as if they are not sentient. That's where it hurts the other people because they are sentient and when we don't treat them like that. Mm. Um, so. Nice that's, point. That's a very, uh, you're, you're connecting the sensitive and the sentient thing. That's very interesting and very profound. Thank well, you. Thank you. Uh, I was considering also how sensitive living entities are that they can sense motive. What is motive anyway? Can you see it? Is it visible to the naked eye? But can you, can you intuit? somebody's motive they may give you a gift and then you might be sleeping that night and then wake up and think actually they didn't really want to give me a gift they wanted something else or the opposite you might realize that was purely out of love you can actually feel that this is what it means to be sentient you can feel these things very deeply 
And in the spiritual world, it's, it's a world of these sentiments, of these intimate exchanges between Krishna and the devotee. And it's an ocean of happiness. The kind of relationship and uh, the kind of happiness that we get in this world is based on relationship, but it's interrupted and obscured in many different ways. But in the spiritual world, we have the full experience of that love. And it's not unrequited love. It's fully reciprocated by the Supreme Personality of God. That's fully satisfying. From that position, even if one has one mustard seed of that kind of experience, one can easily, easily walk away from the paltry material world. And the experiences and relationships here, they become insignificant. Thank you. A few more? Yes. Hare Krishna. I liked your um, deep characteristic about spiritual advancement. The more devotees advance, uh, the more lowly they feel. So yeah, the more you advance, the more there's this dainya, or experience of utter humility. And when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was instructing Sanatana Goswami, he told him about the symptoms of bhava. Bhava means when the heart actually begins to soften. Imagine the heart becoming soft. And then there are certain qualities that come out, and one of those qualities is that the devotee thinks him or herself unqualified. Even though the devotee is becoming more and more qualified, the person actually feels unqualified. Yes? Damodar. Uh, this, uh, the whole the four verses are a very nice way of a reciprocation and assured reciprocation. A devotee goes and requests the Lord and the Lord, narrations are said, sit down, chant holy names, meditate on the lotus feet of Radha and Krishna. And the event is also said that, uh, you know, that that person gets into uh, higher realizations and floats onto the floors of the temple. So it's a very high uh, level of assurance that uh, it's just that the request has to be made, response will definitely come and you know, manifested in the lyrics here. Thank you. And it's an important point today also because as much as we're celebrating the Nishinga Chirdasi, the appearance of Lord Nishinga, we're, we're celebrating the appearance of Prahlad Maharaj. And as we pointed out earlier, there is more in the Srimad Bhagavatam describing Prahlad Maharaj and his character and his pastimes and teachings than there is about the appearance of Lord Nishingadev. Because uh, the Lord appeared for him, and actually because the devotee is the repository of love for the Supreme. And Prahlad Maharaj shows basic practice. Sometimes people think, let me jump ahead to this advanced stage. I've heard about it, now let me be like that. I want to be more attracted to Radha and Krishna. One cannot do that. It's not an intellectual exercise. There is a practice that one can perform that prepares one for this kind of spontaneous love, but it cannot be uh, artificially done. One must work under the direction of the acharyas, for instance, Rupa and Sanatan Goswami, of which whose instructions are perfectly digested and presented through our founder, Acharya, His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Everything, necess everything is there necessary. Thank you. I needed that. I was starting to flag. So, <laughs> Prahlad Maharaj represents this basic devotional service that brings one to this highest level of devotional service. There's, in his teachings, a very basic understanding that you're not your body, for instance. This never becomes old hat to those who are advancing in devotional service. In fact, it's the starting point, and Prabhupada repeated it over and over again. You can see from what Prahlad taught his friends and from his prayers to Lord Nishingadev, over and over again, he's saying very basic things, that service is the mainstay of the devotee, and service to the devotees is the most important. He's not saying, my Lord, even one time, I'm your servant. He never says. He says, I'm the servant of your servant. 
He's showing the very basic Vaishnav etiquette that is necessary, the foundation, the stage upon which is built real devotional service. One cannot imitate this, one cannot fake it. It simply becomes unseemly to society for those who try to perform devotional service or exhibit symptoms beyond their station. So we are followers of Prahlad Maharaj and his mood. Another that it's in, of his moods that's important to all of us here at ISV and in ISKCON particularly, uh, following the mood that Prabhupada emulated in Prahlad Maharaj is that of mercy. He's saying over and over again in his prayers, Prahlad Maharaj is, that I don't care for my own advancement. I'm worried about helping other people. I don't want to live in the mountains and simply chant some secret mantras in a cave. I want to live in the city, in the busiest of all cities. Put me there where all the clamor is going on and people are rushing to and fro and let me help those people. These are all the basics following which one does come to the highest level of devotional service and that's why this song is so important for us. Two more? Thank you, Dhamadar. Akuranath Prabhu. It's natural that we want to be protected from our enemies. Now, I remember going to a Catholic mass at, uh, in Washington, D.C. at the, uh, I guess it was the Shrine of the Immaculate Conception or something, but they, that part of the ceremony, they have an American flag and they say, protect us from our enemies. But in this song, in the first verse, we see, you know, who are real enemies. Because Lord Nisringadeva is capable of destroying enemies, but we may think, Oh, that person at work, he's stopping my advancement, or that, that relative of mine, he wants to steal my inheritance, or, you know, these are our, but our real enemies are in our heart. Lost anger, greed, envy, illusion, madness, and desire for fame, cunning, and all these different qualities in our own hearts, and that if we can be protected from those enemies, and they can go away from our heart, like Krishna said, that you mentioned in the class that kama, lust, and the anger, lust becomes anger, and these are the real enemies, and they establish these sitting places in our mind, intelligence, and senses. And if we can drive them away, that's our ultimate good. Then nobody else can, if we have bhakti, then nobody else can uh, bother us. Such a nice point, Akhirnath Prabhu, thank you. There's a way in which, yeah. Prahlad <laughs> also says that there are no enemies within the whole world except the uncontrolled mind and senses puts it very straight to us. And furthermore, I was reading from your comment that the, this heart of the devotee is non-critical. Nindadi shunya hridimipsita sangalabhya. A devotee who's learned to be self-critical tends to not see the faults in others. And Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur used to give very practical advice, and that is, when you see the faults in others, turn back and look at yourself and see what you need to work on before exhibiting, you know, anger towards others. One more? Yes. There's a microphone in front. Hey, Gopal. Hey, Gopal. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Now, you, um, I was going to say that there's one more um, service that's going to come to Ramananda Sakaprabhu because today morning somebody asked a question on Mayapur TV and uh, Bhakta Rajesh, who was in India, he was watching Mayapur TV. So he took a snapshot of his computer and texted that to me <laughs> over here. So there was a question there and they were asking, like, why should we pray to Nursing Dev? And I was just thinking that um, in one of the verses there, it said that although he's terrifying to the non-devotees, but to the devotees of Krishna, he's very auspicious. So, Thank you. Yeah. yeah. This meditation on Krishna's lotus feet is described in the Bhagavatam. There are various markings. One of them is a thunderbolt. And when the yogis fix their mind on this thunderbolt, 
impression on the lotus feet of Krishna, it smashes mountains of sin that the yogi has accumulated over many, many lifetimes. So this thinking of Krishna, praying to Krishna, as Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, manmana bhava mad bhakto, think of me, offer obeisances to me, become my devotee. This is the process that Prahlad Maharaj brought us. And now when you change these slides from one to the next, you have to make sure that you change it a couple seconds before I get to the next slide, otherwise I'll lose my beat because I don't know the song by heart. And we can start on the first slide. E dushta hridaye kama Ariripuchaya Kutinati Pratishtasha Satya Sadaraya Edushtari E dushta ridae kama ariripuchaya kutinati pratishtasha satyasadaraya Hridaya Shodana Aro Krishnera Vasana Nrishinga Charane Mora Eto Kamana Hridaya Kandiya Nrishinga Pare Magi Boka Kana Nira Pari Nava Dwipe Jugala Bajana Pai Jar Darshane Sehari Prasanna Hoi Bokabe More Doyakari Jar Darshane Yadyapi Bishana Murti Dushta Jiva Prati Raladari Krishna Bhakta Jane Padra Ati Kabe 
सेवा प्रसन्न हो साकृपा वचाने निर्पाया करी बे मुदा किंचने Swachande bhai sahe batsa Shri Gauranga dame Jugala bhajana hai Rati hai name Mama Bhakta Kripa Bale Vigna Jabe Dura Shura Chite Bhajoradha Krishna Rasa Pura Kabe mora mastaka upara suya shri charana harshe dari be ishvara Amani Jugala Preme Sattvika Vikare Darayalu Tibo Ami Shrina Shringa Dware Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. 
राम हरे धाम राम राम हरे हरे within my sinful heart the six enemies headed by lust perpetually reside as well as duplicity the desire for fame plus sheer cunning at the lotus feet of lord nishinga i hope that he will mercifully purify my heart and give me the desire to serve lord krishna weeping i will beg at the lotus feet of lord nishinga for the benediction of worshiping radha and krishna in navadweep perfectly safe and free from all difficulties when will this lord hari whose terrible form strikes fear into fear itself ever become pleased and show me his mercy even though lord nishinga dev is terrifying towards the sinful souls he offers great auspiciousness unto the devotees of lord krishna headed by prahlad maharaj when will he be pleased to speak words of compassion unto me a worthless fool and thereby make me fearless he will say dear child sit down freely and live happily here in shri goranga dam may you nicely worship the divine couple and may you develop loving attachment for their holy names by the mercy of my devotees all obstacles are cast far away with a purified heart just perform the worship of radha and krishna for such worship overflows with sweet nectar saying this will that lord delightfully place his own divine lotus feet upon my head i will experience sublime love for the divine couple radha krishna and undergo the ecstatic transformations called satvika falling on the ground i will roll about at the door of shri nishinga's temple hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Shina Shinga Jai Na Shinga Jai Jai Na Shinga Shina Shinga Jai Na Shinga Jai Jai Na Shinga Shina Shinga Jai Na Shinga Jai Jai Na Shinga Shina Shinga Jai Na Shinga Jai Jai Na Shinga A little louder Got to pray to Lord Na Shinga Dev Shina Shinga Jai Na Shinga Jai Jai Na Shinga Pralada Desha Jaya Padma Mukha Padma Bringa Jai Pralad Maharaj Praladha Desha Jaya Padma Mukha Padma Bringa Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओके गेट रेडी नाउ Shina Shinga Jaina Shinga Jai Jaina Shinga Shina Shinga Jaina Shinga Jai Jaina Shinga Bala Desha Jaya Padma Mukha Padma Bringa Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hari bol, Hari bol, Hari bol, Tai gaur Hari bol. Ni Tai gaur Hari bol, Hari bol, Hari bol, Tai gaur Hari bol. Tai go Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Tai go Hari Bol. Sing a singer, die in a singer, die, die in a singer. Sing a singer, die in a singer, die, die in a singer. Praladesha Jaya Padma Mukha Padma Bringa Praladesha Jaya Padma Mukha Padma Bringa Jaya Nishinga Dev Nishinga Dev Nishinga Dev Jaya Nishinga Dev Jaya Pralad Maharaj, Pralad Maharaj, Pralad Maharaj, Jaya Pralad Maharaj. Jaya Jaya Prabhupada, 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 Jaya Jaya Prabhupada. Shingare the key, Shri Pralad Maharaj ki, Shri Nishinga Chaturdasi Mahamohotsav ki, Go Premanande. Nitai Gora Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Nitai Gora Hari Bol. Go pray manande. Natchari ar marman, natchari ar marman, natchari ar marman, natchari ar marman. Hey, natchari ar marman, natchari ar marman, natchari ar marman, natchari ar marman.